This is the David Crockett National Forest, which is about two and a half hours north of um, Rice University. And so this is a really large area that's like um, mixed with different pine forest habitats and our ponds are spread all over this. This is a surprise to nobody that I'm out here in waders looking for tadpoles. I was, have always been, oh gosh, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. I had two fishing spiders, but one of them left, but that's one of the big fishing spiders. I think the one time my grandma's ever been mad at me was because I, after my aunt's wedding, I was in a nice dress that she smocked me by hand and I was on my knees chasing a frog uh, in the mud before pictures. Now what we're doing here is we're kind of like doing a monthly monitoring program, which means we come out here every month and we sample all the like amphibians, you know, like tadpole and salamander species and dragonflies you can find to get an idea about how much these um, dragonfly and amphibian communities in these ponds change over the seasons and on the long term over years. One big thing for the general public with frogs and dragonflies is that they together eat a ton of mosquitoes. Amphibians are also what we call an indicator species. Many of them are very sensitive to pollution or climate change, other changes to their environment. So if we see amphibian populations starting to decline, it's often a sign that uh, conditions are getting worse and we'll see declines in other populations following that. <laughs>